Hello and welcome back to Personal Poems Week. It's Thursday, so I can't say Monday, so Personal Poems Thursday. Um, I, first of all, can't decide if I want to wear my necklace in the front or no necklace, so I think I'm going to start doing it with no necklace and then halfway and then put the necklace on the other half and then we'll see which one looks better. Okay, so this week I will be doing a emo poem for Quarantine Feelings, and um, I had a good time writing this um, just to assess how I'm feeling and to see how everyone else is feeling during this time, um, and trying to get a, you know, feel for how I'm doing and just kind trying to make sure that no feelings are being like held in um, while we are in this time apart. My grief was wound out like the slow wind of a kitchen timer, setting its grind for a slow crawl of fighting to move anywhere. My legs submerged in cement. I'm trying to move my feet as the moist gray rock hardens or my delicate and yearning to be freed from the weight skin. Like a childhood swing at a park, the bottom, sitting, holding, pushing down to anticipate when to release and fly. The horizon is a body where my flesh doesn't cry and build up as a womb bleeds as a waterfall spills from being held in. My sunrise is a body where my breath has depth. My fingers and calves match my lean core. My swift mind can make its body move in any direction that you can imagine with the poof of a couple of seconds. So as I put my necklace on, um, this is actually a necklace I wear all the time. Um, it's a symbol of um, the flower of life. And um, I wanted to set this up because I will be doing um, some words to offer um, for peace and healing um, to my subscribers today. And um, I'm offering words for you as well as um, some videos that I'm going to link below. So here I go. It came to my attention after watching this Katie Morton YouTube video tonight that I had not really faced how I feel about being on lockdown. It doesn't feel like a lockdown to me, being that I still go to the grocery stores, take long drives, and even visit a few local family members from time to time. Also, an online course that I've applied to gives me that normal student structure that I am acclimated to. It is also a guilty pleasure to be able to cook and bake all the time at home. Like tomorrow I'm planning on making brownies. I see the strain and longing that many extroverts are feeling during this time. I guess I feel selfish in a way because I don't long for those long eye contact moments and going out with friends at bars every weekend. As an introvert, quarantine has been a great time to reconnect with family, donate, sign petitions, apply to work, and do more spiritual healing. I often do not think of the new normal in the next month or next year. I guess what is helping me is that I am very comfortable staying this way until it is safer to do my outdoor favorite thing. Um, I think extroverts are grieving that touch and maybe adrenaline from having banter with other people. Those scenarios often bring me anxiety and wanting to escape as soon as possible. So yes, being at home more is different. As a 23 year old, I would like to be job interviewing and house hunting for a place of my own. But now I'm back to a childlike reality. I am back home and yes, not really dealing 
with the worrying emotions. I think that feeling what you feel is important. I can attach a video on the topic that I learned about um, called parts work. This is where you tend to you tend to your own diverse feelings due to a stressful situation. I think that I'm in a state of acceptance, but then some anger on behalf of those people that can't stay at home or that are more vulnerable to illness. This, this only makes me drive to get more educated and to do public health work to keep my community safer and healthier. So yes, sharing this emo poem is a reminder that you can feel grief and feel free to create your own grief poem and share it with me in the comments um, section or to my email, uh, parhamworky at gmail.com. Um, face how you feel and know that your wellness can start with you and your mindset. If you are extroverted, find those happy mediums to talk to more people. If you're introverted, you've met the right one. <laughs> Follow me by binge watching TV shows, writing poetry, being around family inside, walking at the park, taking long baths like I did last night, and even doing a self massage like I've been doing on my hands sometimes. Um, yep, so thank you for watching another Morgan Sankofa video. And um, please like, subscribe, and most importantly, Feel how you feel and keep your faith.